Well, Jason, you said to us over the last few weeks there's been plenty of work going on behind the scenes and it's come to fruition this week. A couple of signings in the door. How pleased are you? Delighted, delighted. Like I said, it's been a difficult couple of weeks because we've, it's been more outgoings and incomings. Um, and generally, when you're a supporter, and, and I'm a supporter as well, you know, you see players leaving the club and decent players at that. Uh, it's always a worry, you know, and um, behind the scenes there's loads of work going on. And, uh, but nobody, until that, that dotted line signed, um, nobody, nobody believes that. So it's a delighted tonight. Um, two quality additions, in my opinion, in, in areas uh, we need to strengthen. You know, the balance of the squad, in my opinion, wasn't, wasn't there. Uh, we only had one left foot player at the club. Delighted to bring Reese Kendall in, who was doing really well um, and get better. Uh, but tonight, you know, Lewis Thompson, who we brought in from from Scunthorpe, uh, 23 year old, great pedigree, Man United, Blackburn, and um, and played in the football league for, for Scunthorpe. So delighted to have him on board. Um, got the nod from Halifax, to be honest. He, the, the gaffer there rang me and said they weren't offering him anything, um, and it was touch and go. But because they had such a big squad. Um, they felt that they just couldn't offer him anything and we, and we snooped in straight away and, and absolutely delighted to get him over the line. And then the other one we've been chasing for a while, um, you know, we've put a couple of bids in for him, um, fell short right. and um, they've accepted the third bid which is which is brilliant for us. He's, he's a young lad, 20 year old, will only get better um, and he's a player that I think in the time that I've been at Spenny we've always had good attacking wide players and people who get at players and, and, and run with the ball well and he, and he certainly fits that builder's quarry. And, um, you know, he's at an age now where he can only get better, and, and hopefully, like I said, he's done ever so well at Blythe, um, and Blythe have you know been really good for him, um, and we just hope he takes the next step with us now and, and, and excels um, in, in, in a really in a, in a really decent you know set of fixtures over the Christmas period, and, and for one so young, 20 year old, to play 60 games, I think it is, or just over 50 games at National League North level, yeah, yeah, and he's an experienced lad, and, he, and he's local to the club, so it's it, it's a perfect fit really. In terms of you know, the, I'm always fascinated by it. I know people you know think transfers because they play a football manager, they think you know everything. But you've got so many different things have got to fall into line, haven't you, to get a deal over the over the line? It is because, like you say, when when a player comes available, you're, not, you're never ever the only only club that's <laughs> in for the lad, and you know, and then you hear teams that are in it that are full time, or you hear teams that are in it that were um, that have got different options for them, or they've got mates who, who play for another side. So it's it's selling that club, and I think I'm. You know, I've been here long enough now. Uh, you know, you can always fob players off about you know what what the club's all about. But I think you know, in my heart, uh, I do tell them that, you know what what the club's with, with the journey that's been on. You know, and the chairman, like I said, he, he's always backed this football yeah. club, um, and he's continuing to back the football club. And, and you know, it's the two quality signs that we've made today, and hopefully there's there's, there's one more to come in next week. Right. Um, will excite the fans. You know, it's not just squad players we're bringing in. We're bringing in quality players. You know, Blackett. You know, Reese Kendall who've come in, the, the lone lads in Tom Allen in, with Elliot Forbes who's gone back out and did brilliant the other day for Gateshead. So real top quality additions uh, to take this club forward and like I said the chairman will always put his money where his mouth is, he'll always back this football club uh, but he wants hungry young players and, and the type of players that we've just brought in, a 23 year old, a 20 year old, um, are them type, they fit the bill really and, and, and hopefully they'll take us because let's go kid ourselves, similar. We've got half a season to play, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. And, and when you look at the league table, every single team, whether you're Telford or you, you know, you're Kingsley or Fylde, whoever it is at the top, or Brackley, every team in this league has got something to play for. Um, you know, you, I think we're six points off the relegation and six points off the playoff summit. So it, it's a big second half of the season, and we need to have that continuity. We need to have a real togetherness going next, towards the Christmas period, which is going to be a tough Christmas period. And throw in the FA Trophy tie, which is an exciting tie for for both clubs. I know I spoke to Alan the other day. And it, 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 you know, if, if it was one draw, you thought, oh, here we go. First uh, out, cup, well. first out the hat. But like I said, it's um, it's great for the local area, and it's, it'll be great support from both clubs because I know Dalton always following the numbers. Dalton have got a great set of supporters who, who will come to the brewery field in numbers, and and they're doing well. So it's, it's, you know, we always get excited for them games, and um, we've got some big games coming up. You mentioned the chairman's support, and it's great for a manager to be able to rely on that. But also, it underlines the ambition this club has. You know, you know, as I say, we're only halfway through the season. The ambition is still high. Yeah, totally. Um, you know, one thing the chairman's been—I mean, the chairman's been with me for twenty, or I should I say, I've been with the chairman for twenty odd years. You know, and, 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 he, and he never stops short of wanting more and more. You know, you just have to look at the ground and the facilities that it was when he was here. 
I mean, I think it was 2010 or something. He came in and you know it was a shambles. You know the place was, a and you just have to look at it now. You know, the, but you've got to get the get right on the pitch, um, and the supporters have got to buy into that as well, and, and they have. You know, and, and we've got to all get behind the team because, like I say, you do go through peaks and troughs in a season. Um, it's been difficult, you know. And last year, Ben John did a great job stabilising this football club, um, and we've got to re- take that on. And we've got, you know, and, and the chairman. He'll, he'll always be there, he, he, behind the scenes, he's always doing things behind the scenes that pushes this club forward um, and that, that, you know, that's just evident in the, in the signs that we've just made today. You know, the, the investment that he puts in is, um, is for, that, for, for everybody to see. You know, Blackett, was, we, we bought Blackett, we bought Kendall, we bought Corey, um, so the, the investment is there and it will continue to be there, but it's got to be the right players and they've got to be hungry to play for the football club.